So today we have something exciting for you all. Uh, since we've been using uh, the bathroom facilities with more people uh, nowadays, but this was already happening a couple of weeks ago, is that the um, water is not flushing uh, anymore. Well, it is flushing, but not as fast anymore uh, from the bathroom to the septic tank. And this green patch here, I presume, is the septic tank. So what happens is, I think, is actually two-folded. Uh, look what happens. So my tip. So my theory, um, the water cannot go fast enough towards the septic tank. So it comes up uh, in the shower here. So there's probably a blockage somewhere from this point here in the middle where you can open it to the septic tank. But I think uh, a second problem we have is that the septic tank is not draining the water fast enough. Because if we use a lot of water in the shower, uh, for instance for showering or cleaning up dishes, because we also do it in the shower at the moment. Not in the shower, but in the sink from the shower. Not a sink, what is it? Um, but it doesn't drain uh, fast enough. And a couple of weeks ago we had a whole wet patch here when everybody was using uh, the bathroom. Uh, so I want to do two things today. Uh, I want to get this a little bit uh, declugged. So I'm going to see if I can open up the pipe to the septic tank a little more. With something flexible probably. And the second thing I need to know is uh, the septic tank. What is actually wrong with it? Because it's a natural draining septic tank. Um, which implies that it doesn't have um, access and it drains to the bottom. So probably there's some structure for the sides and the top. And then the bottom is open and it drains to the bottom. But apparently it doesn't drain fast enough anymore. So before we're gonna decide what we do with the septic tank, I first wanna take a look at what is actually there and what can be going on. For the future, we need to have some other facilities than only this septic tank because I want to make two bathrooms in the guest houses. And I also want to have another bathroom in my house. And then we see if we eventually keep this bathroom. Um, so there need to be at least three toilets and three showers connected. And I'm pretty sure that this septic tank is not going to handle that. So uh, let's start, if, uh, start and see if we can unclog this a little bit here. Yeah. What was this guy's name from Dirty Jobs? Mike? Mike something. I wanted to introduce myself as Mike something, but I don't know his name anymore. <laughs> dirty Jobs. Akira, are you going to help me on this dirty job? You like dirty puddles. Please don't jump into the pool.
So that was actually not what I expected. Um, so here is the drain from the sink. And here is the drain from the shower. So little overflow here. really wondering if this would prevent uh, the sink from running over there because there is the drainage going probably to another connection here for these two so I'm not really sure this is gonna help it's really hard getting something flexible in there. So the toilet is also going very slowly when draining. And you see all of the stuff that came out here already. So probably this whole thing is like a little bit uh, clogged. Now it would be interesting to know also where this comes out then. Probably somewhere over here. Because if there would be access from here, somewhere, to the inside, I would also maybe be able to unclog it a little bit more. Should be here somewhere. What do you guys think? Deeper? Wider? Or is it still stuck in this little, little piece here? Yeah. Should be going from the door. Whoosh. Somewhere to this vegetation here. Can't be much more this way because water doesn't travel uphill. Can't also be much more further down there because it needs to travel to this septic tank and then we need to come up again here so that's also not gonna happen so uh, it must be here somewhere
Really not the moment in the day to be shoveling down. Meu Deus. So I was digging here and I find a hard piece. But it's not like real concrete or something, I think. Because I can like break stuff off with my shovel. And then it's like real porous. It's more like the stuff they uh, use to um, schist the stone, <laughs> to schist the stones in the house, <laughs> to fix the schist stones in the house. Yeah, it's hot, guys. Although it's not as hot as the uh, last couple of days. Um, but yeah, I know that in Portugal sometimes they uh, cement sort of these connection points where two hoses meet. So I was kind of hoping that this would be it. Uh, coming to think of it, the, um, this is probably the overflow of the septic tank and not the septic tank itself. So I'm guessing that the septic tank itself is somewhere here. And this is like the overflow that's creating all the fauna, flora, fauna. Creating all the plants here. Um, so yeah, I've been digging a little bit back to see if I could like find here something. But uh, not really convinced yet. So yeah, Duarte is not here because he, um, he thought he needed to go to school. Because the people at school told him he needed to go to school for uh, some sort of test still in the middle of the summer holidays. Um, but he went there this morning and uh, he didn't have a test. Um, tomorrow is Duarte's birthday. So maybe if you all want to wish Duarte a happy 16th birthday. And I have no idea for a present for Duarte yet. So if you have suggestions for a present for Duarte, uh, you can put it in the comments. Maybe you can help me out. Talking about helping out, uh, this was a nice job for Akira, I think. But Akira is nowhere to be found. So she's probably relaxing in the living room. So yeah, doing it by myself. Um, I'm gonna dig this out, this out a little further that way. Uh, to see if I can, after this uh, hard part here, can find maybe one piece that goes to the septic tank or something. Maybe this is the septic tank already? I don't know. 
can try and dig here. I have actually no idea if this is a piece of rock that's just laying here or that people try to make here something. Don't want to break it open directly. It might be the only choice. Yeah, it's not smooth anywhere, so it kind of tells me that it's not man made. Yeah, you never know. Huh? Should be here somewhere. <sighs> Let's have a coffee and think about that. Thank you for watching another video of the Portugal project. If you want to follow the Portugal project more closely, you can also add it on Facebook. Or add me on my personal account on Facebook or Instagram. See you next time at the Portugal project.